Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on this Thursday morning as we get a look outside our weather window. This is Interstate 15, Fort Hall there at exit 80. Track record moving along pretty good this morning. We have clear skies right now, 42 degrees in through Pocatello. Winds are calm right now, so winds have definitely died down since a couple days ago. 46 Idaho Falls also with the calm winds and clear skies. Here's a look at some of the temperatures as we wake up on this Thursday. We're looking for 30s in through western Wyoming from Yellowstone to Jackson to Afton. 30s right now in through the Driggs Victor area. Soda Springs 38 in through the Snake River Plain. We're looking at 40 degree temperatures. 40s extending all the way out to the Arco Desert in through Haley. 30s through Stanley. 30s and 40s through Salmon and Chalice this morning. Winds not really a factor right now. Yeah, calm winds from Idaho Falls through Blackfoot, Pocatello, Soda Springs, Downey, Twin Falls right now, just single digit wind speeds, not too bad at all. So we take a look at our storm tracker radar. You can see that to the north and east of us, we still have this low pressure circulating now, moving into parts of the Dakotas and through Canada to the south and west of us. This system kind of circulating in through Nevada, California. And uh, right now that's gonna leave us high and dry. And in fact, beautiful weather today, <laughs> lots of sunshine today. Almost the perfect day as we Count down the last few days of summer, 72, the high in Pocatello, 60s for Idaho Falls, Rexburg, St. Anthony, low 70s for Blackfoot and America Falls. Also in through the Southeast Highlands, lots of sunshine as well. Soda Springs, Montpelier, Preston, all in the 60s for our highs today. In through the Highlands and Western Wyoming, partly cloudy skies. Island Park hitting high of 60, 64 for Jackson, 65 for Afton, 67 for Dubois, and for the Central Mountains also with the partly cloudy skies too. 70 for Chalice, everybody else though, mid to upper 60s for our daytime highs. Moving into your Friday morning, mostly clear, and that's going to drop us down to the 30s for Stanley for our low, low 40s for Ledor, Mackey, 43 for Chalice and Salmon for those overnight lows. And then we are through the Highlands and Western Wyoming, just clear skies tonight. Jackson and Island Park will be in the 30s, Afton and Yellowstone will be in the 30s, Driggs and Dubois in the lower 40s and for the Southeast Highlands also clear skies cooler temperatures with Montpelier Soda Springs in the 30s for our lows tonight Preston Downey Lava Income all in the lower 40s and for the Snake River Plain clear skies middle 40s is where we're going to settle at for those overnight lows on Friday morning Rexburg 42 St. Anthony 40 Blackfoot 44 American Falls 46. Here's a look at our Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. The sunshine will continue Friday, Saturday. A few clouds coming in Sunday and Monday as we welcome in fall. Middle 70s for our daytime highs. We'll eventually get back up into the 80s about a week from Wednesday. Blackfoot also with the sunshine taking us into the weekend. Mid 70s for those daytime highs. 80s by Wednesday and Thursday. Just a few clouds coming in Monday and Tuesday. Idaho Falls sunny tomorrow. 73 for the high. 74 on Saturday for the first day of fall. Most Mostly sunny skies, 73 degrees with our overnight lows in the 40s. Rexburg, you can expect sunshine, 70 degree weather for Friday and Saturday. Our lows going back and forth between the low 40s and the upper 30s for the first day of fall. Mostly sunny, 71 for the high. Teton area will stay in the 60s at least through the weekend. Monday, we do have about a 20% chance of some showers developing with cloudy skies. 62 for the high on Monday, then into the 70s for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And for the Central Mountains, sunshine for tomorrow. Tomorrow, Saturday, some clouds for the first day of fall on Sunday. We'll stay in the 70s for our daytime highs, eventually getting into the 80s by Wednesday and Thursday of next week, with our lows in the upper 30s to the mid-40s. Deanne?